Genesis chapter 30 Rachel told Jacob to make her babies or she'd do herself in. Another hysterical bitch. I can't help it. It's your womb that's got no fruit in it yet. Then fuck my maid. So he did, and she had a son, Dan. The second was Naphtali, which means eat this sister. So Lee made Jacob do her maid. Somehow this all sounds a little backwards. Gad was born. What luck. The second was Asher. Reuben came back one day with some mandrakes and brought them to her mother, Leah. Rachel wanted some. You take my husband and my mandrakes. Give me some mandrakes and you can have your husband. So they made that understood with Jacob and out popped the fifth son. It's Asher. Then came the sixth, Zebulan. Then finally she had a daughter, Dinah. God thought poor little Rachel should start producing, so he opened up her womb. It happens naturally with 12 or 14. At last she had Joseph. Jacob wanted to go back home. He told his father-in-law uncle how he'd been a great hand and could he just take a couple speckled sheep and goats. But he lied. He pissed off with all the flawed animals, with the help of his gang of hired thieves. Jacob started breeding and gene manipulating the offspring. Fresh shoots of pop, poplar, almond, and plain peeled into white stripes and put by the water trough where the goats came to drink and copulate so that all the baby goats would have specks, spots, and streaks. He did something similar only with different colors for the sheep and ended up amassing a huge flock, got rich through the decept his deceptive master thievery, had men and women servants, camels, and asses.